Hi and welcome to a chapter on how to automate the editing process for Ham Radio Deluxe's logbook after you've imported a native file from a foreign program such as N1MM or other logging software after a contest. Many times much of the information required or needed in Ham Radio Deluxe's tools are missing such as full names etc but can easily be found on QRZ but you have to manually do the process. This little video will show you how to automate it. And one of the tools you'll need to get is hot, Auto Hotkey. And you can get that from the AutoHotkey.com website. You'll not want to get the latest version. You'll want to get an older version. Actually, you'll want to get version 1.04410. And I'll show you where that is by clicking on the other and then by clicking on Auto Hotkey 1.0. And then once that is selected, you'll be greeted with a list of all the 1.0 versions and the version that you want to pull down is 1.04410 now we'll show you that in a second here as I zoom in basically download that and install it once the program is installed you'll notice at your start windows that you have auto hotkey installed and the key feature that we wanted to grab the old version was this auto script writer recorder that makes our life very easy and we'll show you how to use that launch ham radio deluxe and then launch by clicking on the windows start launch the auto hotkey script recorder this is going to make our life very simple because it's going to record all our keystrokes and mouse movements it launches click on record and then up in the left hand corner it's a little indicator box showing you that it's recording everything that we're doing now and now watch what I'm doing on Ham Radio Deluxe's logbook click on QRZ to update this and then say overwrite and now update the fields and we're done click on the stop and to continue it creates a nice script file for us we save it and we're going to save it to a location that will, later on we can double click on it to launch it. This one's going to be called My Test. And now we're done with the script recorder. And now what we'll see is this macro in execution. Very quick. This is what the actual macro looks like and that macro recorder really does make our life simple so we don't have to type all this in by hand save this file to either your desktop or to a location and create a shortcut on your desktop this is what I've done on my desktop created two shortcuts for two different versions of the macro that I need or you can actually assign it to a keystroke using the auto hotkey program you can in this case I've assigned the alt control H to run that macro Hope this helps. 